I wish that was on TV. Maybe season two. <laughs> no, baby. No, <laughs> absolutely not. I don't want any of those on camera. If we keep up with these shots, season two is going to start right here. <laughs> of something. Hey, everyone. It's Mira Mangle. And Nebraska Thunder. And welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! Cheers, bitch. So today we're here to talk about drag, drag race husbands, what that experience is like, and we're gonna also talk about some of the most famous ones. My vagina's out. Scarlett, you let that happen. <laughs> you were radiating, so I just wanted you to continue radiating. I wanted to show the world where the heat radiates from. Mm -hmm. Before we get started though, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube. Plus you're helping support the channel. Nebraska, this is your second time here with us and you do enjoy it. <laughs> it's the shots. I know. It's the shot. I got this bitch drinking. That, but okay. that's, that's what I was trying to say is. Uh, We're in Vegas. I love to drink. I got this bitch drinking with me. Speaking of. And it's my we? birth week. To drag husbands. Your husband's here, one of them. <laughs> I, don't have, oh. I have a lot of them. That was way bigger than the first one. Oh, the do you feel shots. that? Yeah. Oh. That's just so rejuvenating. It's, it's making my scalp moist, making my wig slip back. <laughs> no, it's oh. making your wig slip back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A drag queen, even if they don't have a big ego, it still is a big ego kind of thing. You mm -hmm. know, like, there's a lot there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 100%. So, what, nine years ago, you met... Nick and Derek. Yeah. How long were they together prior to you arriving? They had been together for five years, but I will say that when I met them, the night that I met them, I had no idea who they were or uh, that they were even together. Mm -hmm. I just, we had been out all night drinking, me and my friends, and we were doing an after party at my friend's house and they came over and we ended up doing like P90X yoga Oh God, that's horrible. At like two in the morning, like everybody. That's hard. Mm -hmm. And um, and it hurt so bad the next day. I was in really like high spirits. I had just moved to Las Vegas. I felt like I felt just so free uh -huh. for the first time in my life. My military uh, contract was coming to an end, and I was so excited to pursue my own passions and just uh, in such an exciting time in my life. And I was like, I'm going to focus on pursuing my passions. And I'm not going to let anything else distract me from that. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I put that out into the universe, then I get, end up in my long-term relationship. That's for real. That's always how it happens. When you first met Derek and Nick, you were not doing drag. Mm -hmm. Now you are also a drag queen. So poor little Nick is in a relationship with two women. What is that like for him? Because he's got to be the, like, the, I, I imagine based on seeing you guys on TV and everything, I feel like he's probably like the grounding force. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, he's, and anybody that knows Nick will attest to this. He has such a calming energy about him. And I think that that's one of the reasons that he's such a phenomenal artist. It's good for Derek and I to have that kind of energy in yeah. our relationship. Mm -hmm. We're all very different, all three of us. Mm -hmm. But definitely Nick is the sensitive one and he, teaches me and reminds me to be more compassionate mm. uh, because you know this business i'm sure you've experienced it it can make us a little jaded mm. you know it's it can be very cutthroat mm -hmm. so nick calming force what is it what was it like first of all dating a drag queen before you started drag and then now what is it like dating another drag queen now that you're a drag queen it's crazy because there's already three of us in a relationship but it's already a lot but it's like there's five of us. Damn. Because there's the three of us as boys, but then there's okay. Derek's, you know, Britney drag persona, and then there's my Nebraska drag persona. Did you ever consider changing your name? No. Okay. It never once crossed my mind. A lot of people said that I should. On season five, episode 10, RuPaul sang Nebraska mm -hmm. multiple times in the episode. And I'm like, how stupid of me would it be to- Can't use that trash that name right. that Alaska gave to me, that she gave me the blessing to continue to use after the episode, and the one that RuPaul is saying, yeah. who is, you know, the most famous drag queen in the world. Yeah, and then you got put together by the blueprint of a drag race queen. Yeah. You know, that's pretty iconic. And, you know, I would have changed the name if 
Alaska didn't give me the blessing to continue to use it. But mm. when Derek and Nick and I decided that I was going to do drag full time, she was the first person that I reached out to. And I shot her a I message and I said, hey, this is what I'm, I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with me using the name? And she has been supportive since day one. I love that. Yeah, I mean, we're not here to talk about her, but uh, yeah, you guys have a, you guys still have a great relationship, right? I, I'm just so thankful. She did a super cute photo shoot, wasn't it? Like, it was all four of you, wasn't it? It was the polygamy shoot. Nick, are you in that? I don't think Nick's in that. It was no. me as the Mormon husband. Oh yeah, you were the dad. Okay, I, and I then was that was Alaska and Derek were my sister wives. Gotcha. Yeah, that was really cute. So um, she's just been so phenomenal and incredible and supportive. And she had, during Vegas review, I let her know beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna portray this, mm -hmm. but um, I was fighting with this person and this person, and I just want to give you a heads up before, yeah, you know. It, it goes out there to the world. And she had my back the entire that. time on her podcast and in video. So I'm so thankful to Alaska and I hope you all. Your hand looked real big when you got when you put that up there. I hope you all <laughs> love her as much as I do. What a beautiful blessing in terms of like, again, like I said, like you couldn't have a bigger, better name from Trevor Rose to be your person. When the episode first aired and people were asking me out of the blue, like strangers, like, oh, so are you from Nebraska? And I'm oh. like, well, I, why do they think that? And um, duh, the name. Why was Nebraska chosen out of all the states? It rhymed with Alaska. There you go. Alaska is a very, she has a very. Keep it simple. Exactly. Alaska has a very strong mind. She's very creative and she knows what goes good together. And she came mm -hmm. up with the name Nebraska because it was, you know, Alaska, Nebraska. Yeah simple as that have you had any heated moments where it's like this is not gonna work in terms of like us both being drag queens no not with us both being drag queens no i mean we have had in the beginning of our relationship mm -hmm. we definitely had some kinks to work out but nothing to do with drag it's hard to be you know in a relationship imagine two personalities so yeah. then imagine three personalities it's a lot to juggle at times um but thankfully, I'm good at multitasking. But yeah, like we, we have had very vitriol uh, fights over nothing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, one time I chased Derek out of a restaurant and then he made Nick what? take me home and then come back and get him because he didn't want to be in the car with me. <laughs> um, I was very upset that night, but I don't remember what for. I wish that was on TV. Maybe season two. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby. No, <laughs> absolutely not. I don't want any of those on camera. If we keep up with these shots, season two is going to start right here. <laughs> of something. Uh, drag husbands. I'm reminding myself of the topic. Oh, okay. <laughs> the reason I wanted to have you here for that is, of course, because you are a drag race husband, essentially. And you're a baby. You were born at Drag Race, so you're perfect to talk about that. But what we're going to do is now we're going to talk about some of the most famous drag race husbands in history. Ooh. Now, of course, this is not everyone. And, it, and excluding anyone is not intentional. It's, uh, you know, the way we want to talk about this is the ones that are the most public relationships, right? Yeah. I a mean, lot of people have husbands where they don't want to have that out there. Exactly. And I didn't make this list. Merit she it. has no idea what's happening. So be mad at her if you're not included. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna. I don't think. I don't think this is like serious enough to be mad. You know. You know. Hopefully not. You know how oh, some of these people are. Okay? No, people. Have been, yeah, people have been more mad about less. The first person I think about when I think about drag race husbands is Christopher Latrice's husband. Yes. I think that they are just like. Oh, first of all, Latrice is one of the most lovable, beautiful queens from Drag Race period. The, one of the most legendary. And in person too. When you meet her, she actually Stunning. is as sweet and nice as she's. Mm -hmm. portrayed on Drag Race. Absolutely. And, and and that's a testament to both of their characters. Christopher is always like unbelievably nice to everyone too. Yes. He's and so... he don't have to be. You know what I mean? Like he's not getting paid to do that. I will say that we love Latrice and Christopher and we're always so happy and excited anytime our uh, paths cross. I love that. If you want to Google it on YouTube, uh, when Latrice proposes, she does it on stage at a show. So, so cute. So, so cute. What All Stars 4 is, she was, she was engaged and they, they were planning the wedding. 
it just feels like they are like they've been together forever just such a great relationship and both seem like very lovely people they are and both very talented yeah and you know this is the most important part to make a drag relationship work is that when you're when you can work together as a team mm -hmm. and use those combine those talents yeah. to be like this powerhouse yeah and they they do that they do that and uh christopher did that show with wow for a little while where it was about drag race husbands yeah he interviewed uh nick on it i love that such a great show in terms of that oh my god we didn't even talk about you being on it and asmr that show that just so so i mean that show is so funny. ASMR. Oh, you like it? It's so funny. You know what? These bitches are always trying me. So I knew <laughs> that I needed some sort of release. And so I pitched the idea of ASMR. You did? I did. Oh, I it's pitched so good. the idea of ASMR Queens to WoW and they took it and ran with it. And I'm so thankful that they did because it is such a great way to relax after uh a stressful week when you're stressed AF and you need to unwind, ASMR is like the ticket. And you really get to see you and Derek's sense of humor, you know, like... Like the, not in an aggressive, just like being no stupid. conflict, yeah. just like chucking it up mm -hmm. like friends or uh, partners do. Yeah. My favorite episode that I can, like the one that I always think about is the one with Pheromone. Oh my god! She is also just. It also shows off her personality the same way. Yes, and you know that doesn't always get to be showcased in a competition show or on you know yeah. a housewife style format show like Vegas Review. Like the fun sides of our personalities aren't always showcased because there's limited time. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that that show showcases that. Pharaoh was so fun. We got so drunk filming that episode, <laughs> and then my. They're all my favorite episodes, but then the one with Alaska was really special. I love too. that one. That's the other one I was thinking of. Um, because any chance that I get to cross paths with Alaska um, is just a blessing. Can you smell her um, womb when you're with her again? I do. I just feel like we are still attached with the umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, like we have the hip pads here, we can. <laughs> show them you know yeah show the hip pads and so far oh. <laughs> uh, but we also have to move on because we can't talk about alaska again we oh almost just did, we almost just did it again. we almost just got this is the thing <sighs> this is why we need somebody here telling us like no bitch you got off track again. i normally do that but you got me drunk okay, okay so we're gonna move on so that was latrice and christopher and alaska up next is heidi in closet and her husband heidi and closets in a relationship hmm Scarlett? What? Yes, ma'am. Did you mess up on this this slide? Never. It's blank. Maybe it's the next one. Okay. Heidi in closet and her husband. Hmm. No, oh, wait, go oh you know what? She doesn't have a husband. <laughs> I oh can't. no. Oh my god. Oh, this is so rude. Uh, Scarlett set this up, so Scarlett did this. I had nothing to do with this, Heidi. Just FYI, she left me completely in the dark about this. You let are so let shady, me check my Mara. Files. No. Yeah, I think Scarlett did this to get revenge on Heidi for some reason. That's rude. Heidi, of I course, got of more course, than Heidi enough. doesn't have a husband. We all know that, and she's she's desperately looking. And we're praying for her. We're moving on. Up next is Jeremy Carey, uh, the artist formerly known as Fifi O'Hara, oh, yeah. and her husband Michael. Oh. Uh, so first of all, you know, just like what I've seen with Latrice, the proposal is on on YouTube. Yeah. This one is so good. Have you ever seen their proposal? I haven't. Oh my God, Nebraska. This I need is, to see it right now. It is so good. Okay. So they're in, the, this is back I when they did- ideas. This is back when they did Battle of the Seasons. They're in the middle of doing a live Snatch game and they made Michael, Fifi's husband, or Jeremy's husband uh, participate as one of the contestants to like, you know, answer questions. Judges. Answer well, no, like to be like um, answer questions, oh, like okay. you know, you know how you do that. He Jeremy came out in the middle of it and proposed, and it's just, I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's really beautiful. Up next is Ginger Minj and her husband oh, yeah. CJ, also another very famous drag husband. Ginger had a lot of um, struggle in previous relationships, right? That that were that were made public, and um, CJ seems like such a, again, an easy breezy uh, addition to her life that makes it easier and better. And they also got married at DragCon. She was oh just in Snow White. That's wild. You know, uh, Derek put it best. She's done so much for the community. She's worked with Jennifer Aniston. Oh my God. 
asshole. I cannot <laughs> believe we didn't even talk about that. <laughs> there's too much to talk about, baby. There really and is. There's, too, there's not enough time. <laughs> Next time I come back. Ginger's awesome. We love her. And she was there that night. I'm. She, yeah, oh, yeah, that because that joke was about her. She definitely was there. So that was Latrice. Night. Uh, yeah, he, and he was so drunk he didn't remember her name. Um, <laughs> we. We Did I not cry when I met you? I can't believe I mean, that. I could quote the whole thing. You know it's what's so, crazy? It's so good. Is that I, the whole car ride from Vegas to Phoenix, I helped Derek write like eight pages of jokes mm-hmm. about each of those cast members. Trixel Motel. And then some, and he didn't get to a single, he never delivered a single joke on the paper. <laughs> I'm like, why? What happened that night to get him so drunk? I think he was nervous. Was that his first night on the show? That was his first night doing oh the God. Hater Source. And you know how the fandom can be when you're delivering shade. Like uh-huh. he did it all of season eight and they're not always, they don't always respond in the nice, nicest way. Right. So I think he was nervous. And so he was drinking to compensate for that. Plus he was with his sisters having fun. Yeah. And then um, I think that he just maybe had one or five too many. Did Derek have to do more dates after that? No, they didn't have him back after that. Um, <laughs> which is unfortunate because it's their most viewed video from the haters roast we've on re- YouTube. We've, we've live reacted to it. Like, it's so good that we had to film it. I don't know if Derek want, wanted to go back um, after that experience, but... Um, I'm sure he looks back now and sees it as a fun time, a fun moment, or no. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the morning, he had no recollection of it, and uh-huh. me and Nick were telling him in the God, hotel room, like... you had to room, physically like, take him off stage. I had to physically wheelchair him from the car to the hotel room, where I thought the hotel was going to call the cops on us because he was completely unresponsive. So here's someone dressed as Brittany, completely, like, not responsive in a wheelchair, and we're, like, trying to get her up to the room without she causing really a scene. Wanted, she really wanted to do the Everytime music video, didn't she? Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's a, a beautiful memory that the world gets to share. I appreciate it now. Well, speaking of cocktails, there's always time for a cocktail with Mr. and Mrs. Kasha Davis. Oh, yeah. This is, again, like, I feel like they're, like, one of the most beloved husband and wife. Because, like, even before we met Mr. Kasha Davis, we knew of him because she referred to him. And it's one of those things, too, where you're like, is he real? And then you meet him and you're like, oh, he's he's lovely. He's so lovely. And they're obviously a great team together mm-hmm. if she is, you know, talking about him. And I love that on her platform that she's promoting her partner, too. I yeah. think that that makes a great relationship is that you all help level each other up. He's also very funny, too. Like, he's he like they they are very much like equals in terms of like her comedy and success too you know i'm sure i'm sure he helps out a lot with with mrs kasha davis up next is manila luzon and her husband now he got her eliminated just kidding oh my gosh they work together they collaborate a lot together now yeah and such a beautiful couple too yeah and look they've stood the test of time they've been together for a really long time yeah well and especially for someone like uh, manila i mean you know of course manila was the first famous drag couple with Sahara Davenport and you know That's right. Manila and uh, Michael didn't meet very, that long after that but that also is you know they always say like a, a great um, indicator of a successful relationship is if you know the widow or the widower finds love again like that means they were very fulfilled in the first relationship have you heard that? I've never heard that but that makes sense yeah either that or they murdered them one of those two things. Either on either they're on Dateline or it was a successful relationship. I don't know where to go from there. Up next, we're we're gonna go get in the frame. They murdered that. I can't handle you. Okay. This is your fault. You did this to me. Y'all okay. on the internet told her that was funny. I blame y'all. <laughs> Clifford the big red dog. How old are you? 104. That's what I thought. I'm a vampire. Just as I thought. Trash. Oh, I was supposed to mention I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I had three more. <laughs> I'll do that another day. I can't handle you. I love this. Um, I had three more I was going to mention. Cheers. Where's your shot at? We drank it earlier. <sighs> Get her another shot, please. Somebody, please. Not, not as big so as much. the last one, Scarlett. A tiny, small one. Like a little appetizer yeah, shot. Yeah, Scarlett, you can't over uh, Heidi and me in this one video. <laughs> you are so scandalous. Heidi, I had nothing to do with that. 
I think you're fabulous. Mina Flowers and her husband, those mother how do they, they, as they age, become sexier and sexier? What is that about? It's called fine wine. I wouldn't know. They get better with age. I do love the fine wine song by Kylie Minogue. To so, uh, your birthday. Yes, and we're doing it over the arch. <gasps> oh gosh, that feels incredible. <laughs> Oh my god, I have my shift at Arby's after this. I can't do this. Let us know who your favorite drag race husbands are, and um, please leave your condolences as well for Heidi and Closet below. We're gonna head on out of here, and we are so glad you got to see us. Bye! Hee <laughs> hee!